up y'all, it's your girl Stephanie and I'm in London right now. I'm here with Lush. I'm so excited. The next two days they have a really cool event that I'm very much looking forward to. I'm about to go meet up with the Lush team right now. We're gonna be doing a bit of shopping today, I think. Um, I very much need to go shopping because I forgot all of my underwear and socks. I've never done this before, but I think I put it on my bed and then, I don't know, like covered it with my sheets or something. And when I arrived here yesterday, I was like, wait, what the hell? Don't have any underwear or socks. So pretty much what I did was I hand washed what I wore on the plane in the sink with a bunch of body wash and then dried it on uh, the air conditioning vent. Is that TMI? Whatever, it's real life. I'm wearing some clean stuff today, but obviously I can't do that every single day. So I gotta go get some undies and stuff and hopefully get a little bit of shopping in. I wanted to show you something that Lush gave me. They sent me this really beautiful makeup bag and there's some goodies inside of there. And also, yesterday, they delivered this to my room. So I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to film this. So let's dive into this one really quick first. Okay, should I just, I'm just gonna dump. Oh, look at all this stuff. So it's pretty much um, a really nice little note there saying these are kind of some plain essentials. Oh no. So of course, I kind of put in this, this is like a hair conditioner that I want to try out. I put it in there and it actually leaked amongst all the Lush stuff. So, uh, ignore this. I think I actually only got onto this thingy, but anyways, this is a, um, <laughs> this is a toothbrush they gave me to go along with their dirty toothy tabs. And I've actually never used these before, but uh, I've heard good things. And I always like to use natural products for my teeth. So these two go hand in hand, but I'm just gonna put this off to the side because I got the other product on it. They gave me the gorgeous facial moisturizer, the silky underwear dusting powder. What is that? It's a light, sophisticated jasmine scented powder with added cocoa butter to dust over your skin. What? I didn't even know they made like a skin powder. Wow, okay. So there's that. This is their Ultra Balm. Oh crap, there definitely was more product. That's, oh no. Okay, this is their Ultra Balm. The all-purpose balm's really good for dry skin. I have dry skin in little patches, so I've used this one a few times. I absolutely love this eye cream. It's one of my favorites, Enchanted Eye Cream. This is their Lip Service Lip Balm right there. Breath of Fresh Air Toner. I've also used this a bunch in the past. It smells really good and just very cooling and it has, yeah, aloe vera in there. It's very soothing. And then a Temple Balm, Dreamtime Temple Balm. Yeah, so there's some products in here that I've never used before. So mixed in with products I already like. I just untied the knot of this super cute handkerchief. I think this might be a Christmas collection thing. Oh my God. So. This is going to be, am I allowed to show this? Is this a Christmas? <gasps> I don't know what's going on here. Lush Creative Showcase 2016. 29 and a half, what is this? Like a, ooh, it's a very melty bar. Here we have some sort of solid shampoo or soap. Here's Plum Rain, you can see it's very plummy and purple inside. Shower gel with plum juice. Here we have another bath bomb. Wow. Mmm, I'm so bad at explaining smells. Like if I had the description in front of me, I'd be like, oh yeah, that totally smells like that. And then what the heck? Oh, I think this is an umbrella. <laughs> if I'm, I'm gonna get more descriptions of this later, I'm, I'm gonna take the umbrella out, but I will just kind of put all this stuff back together. Okay, if you look outside, it's actually really creepy because there's a bunch of people working here and they can completely see what I'm doing. But over there, you can see that's the London eye. How tight is that from that little crack? But yeah, over here, people all working and completely being able to see <laughs> into my room. <laughs> also just now filmed this entire look, pretty much the look I've been wearing just a ton the last few weeks because I've been wearing my glasses quite a bit and it's, well not even the last few weeks, this is the look I've been wearing for I feel like a couple of years now. Uh, but it's with newer products that I've really been enjoying wearing. Uh, yeah, but especially the last couple weeks I haven't been wearing any contacts because I ruptured 
uh, my eye. If you've seen any of the last couple videos, you'll see that. I didn't rupture my eye, but a uh, blood vessel in my eye. But yeah, um, okay, I'm very flustered right now. I'm gonna get going, see you in a sec. My sad little hand-washed Pikachu socks. We are walking over to Lush Oxford Street. All right, coming up, this is the huge store that I've never been in. Relax, take a bath. This store is three stories high with a spa. My mind is blown right now. Okay, so here are some Oxford exactly. Street exclusives. They have all these little cute bath oil thingies. Look at this. Flower barrel. They just look like little candies, like little truffles. This is one of the bath bombs that was inside of uh, that wrap that I received. This is Guardian of the Forest. Mossy greens and earthy oak moss, absolute. Herbal vlogger, uh, I just ate this ramen at Waka Mama and I did not say a word about it. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, Courtney and I have separated from the group. Some of the other lush ladies are meeting up in a second, but we are shopping on Carnaby Street now. I gotta find some place to buy some underwear. <laughs> Okay, so we just did a lot of shopping, but I could not really record it because it was just so hectic outside. But now, we just got to a beautiful tavern called Furner's Tavern. I don't really think I would call it a tavern. It's actually an insane looking restaurant. Look at that. So, got a couple cheeky cocktails over here. This one has Aquavit. And Courtney got one this cute little teacup. Can't. Okay, gonna try it. Man, it's really, really good. I have Aqua Beat in here, a Scandinavian drink. Can't beat it. All right, first course here. We got a little burrata with some heirloom tomatoes. So I completely forgot to record the entree, but it was very delicious. And now we have the dessert, which is a strawberry eclair with a chocolate ice cream on the side. What up, y'all? Back in the room. Oh man, I'm so tired. It is time to take this makeup off. I got so oily today, I feel like. Very excited to take my makeup off right now. Uh, yeah, I gotta be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, bright and early, in order to get some breakfast in and get ready because we gotta meet in the lobby at like 7.30. I got a bunch of stuff from the Oxford Street location in Lush. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do a whole separate video, like a Lush haul, because. I think we're going to get so much Lush stuff, I'm like very excited, and I'm also hopefully going to be doing uh, a Lush giveaway. Actually, not hopefully, 100% going to be doing a Lush giveaway because I feel like I'm getting so much stuff. Uh, so watch out for that video, hopefully I'll be able to get that up just like right after the vlog. But yeah, gonna hit the hay, or I already have, but I gotta get up and wash my face and brush my teeth and stuff, but I will see you in just a second. Good morning, everyone. Today is the day of the first Lush Showcase. It is bright and early. It's 7 a.m. right now. I woke up, did my makeup, curled my hair. I thought it looked pretty nice today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am extremely hungry right now, so I'm just gonna go downstairs and grab some food and some much needed tea or coffee, so let's go. Yes, it was on you. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Oh, nice. I love beans. All right, we just got to the shipyard. And we're walking into the event now. Dang. Okay, we are about to hear the first speakers, and we got these crazy beanbag chairs, and everybody is sitting on the floor. Okay, so this is the tobacco dock in London and they have just converted it into a lush, I don't know what you would even call paradise. this, a lush paradise, there we go.
what up y'all back at the hotel immediately took a shower called my freaking makeup off and got into this robe hashtag robe life y'all know what i'm saying i don't think i relayed this earlier but it was so freaking hot in that spot it was awesome super fun very exciting but just like i was sweating there was sweat going down in this area there was just a lot of sweat happening all over and i was just so excited to take a cold shower just now it was amazing there are so many new products the new season christmas and halloween it was just really exciting to see all that before you know it goes really public and actually i think that lush is going to be sending me some of the gift boxes because i think it's going to be kind of difficult for me to pack i didn't really bring huge suitcases to like carry the gift boxes back but they're giving me a few to be able to maybe show you in a video and give away to you so i might even be giving away some products before they're even out in stores so keep an eye out for that video i don't even know how i'm going to be doing all these videos i have like so much cool lush stuff to show you and then that video with the holiday stuff this is about to be like lush tastic on my channel but i hope that y'all don't mind that because lush products and the whole company as a whole just they're awesome and it was really it was really great to learn a lot more about the company. Right now I'm chilling a bit. I might be going to dinner, I might not, because I've actually have a bunch of work to do, so we shall see. 